did you ever get a call from a motherfucker that just start just talking as soon as you pick up the phone, you don't know what it is, and they start talking about your shit is fucked up and this and that. I'm like, wait, 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 who the fuck is you? Like, Man, I hang up. <laughs> nigga did me up. like the other day, just jumped on my line. Yes, Mr. Prodders, your shit is fucked up. We're calling you to let you know that you owe this, and somebody hacked your shit. Can you give us your last four digits to your social? Social, right. Man, you know Hell what? Get the nah. fuck off my phone, man. You ain't even Hell said nah. who you was. You dig? It's no, nah, it's when what gets me is when I be like, man, you know what? I ain't had a blueberry muffin in a minute. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm scrolling on Instagram. It's a blueberry muffin uh, advertisement right there. I go to YouTube, it's blueberry muffin recipes and shit. I'm like, if y'all don't stop, if y'all don't leave me alone. <laughs> This is a new segment of the show, y'all. This shit is called Finish the Lyric. I'm gonna start some lyrics, you finish it. Lorenzo's on, Yo Lorenzo's on Yokohama tires. Next. I don't know that, what's that one? Bling bling. Oh, bling bling. Every time I come around here, I say that bling bling. <laughs> Lorenzo's on Yokohama, what part is that? I know that song though. <laughs> That's the end of the, end of the hook. Oh, Lorenzo's on Yokohama tire, bling bling. Oh, see, no, I said I all it. kind of other lyrics on that. Lorenzo <laughs> Petokama, not China, bling bling. You know, once you like the song, see, that's the problem. If I like a song that much, I'm not even trying to listen all the way because I'm participating before I know what it really say. You know what I'm saying? Like, Lorenzo's on Yokohama, lana, bling bling. Like, oh, Yokohama, let me see how that's spelled. Lorenzo's on Yokohama tires. Oh man, who knew that? Did y'all really know that's what he said? Nah, we, we're gonna put the Shanks egg. knew. Shanks back there, like, yeah, that's bling bling. Oh, encyclopedia ass. Okay, here's another one. I met another girl. Her name was Ann. All she wanted was to. When I heard some nigga over there rapping with, with me. a man, you ain't in the goddamn contest. I don't know that. Who is that? That's too short. Freak with a man. Okay. I met this girl. Her, Her name, name was Ann. Ann. And all she wanted was to freak with a man. Which one? Which song is that? Freaky Tales. Freaky Tales. Okay. The very next day. Y'all gonna have I me out here Ann. looking like I ain't the rap kind of sort of that. Man, where the outcast at? Man, run it up. Where the Snoop Dogg lyrics at? Okay, here's another one. My name is Peaches and I'm the best. Are the DJs want to feel my breath? Is that yep. off the movie? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just niggas don't know that one. How the fuck you coming to America? Yeah, nigga, but how you, that's off coming to America. I know bro. what it's all for, but hey. how the fuck you gonna know that one? <laughs> but don't know that's no That's coming to America, yeah, bro. Yeah, nigga, you ain't yeah, supposed to know that one. What? You got that one right. That's an Eddie Murphy movie. Yeah, you got that motherfucker right. All right, go ahead. That's funny as hell. <laughs> Here's another Who one. Who included that, though? <laughs> one of them crazy niggas over on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Money trees is the perfect place. For shade, and that's just how I feel. That's a fact, you uh, got that. Uh, that Here's another one. Me. Let's see if you know this. Now this is deep hip hop. I'm your idol, your highest title. Phone a friend, Shanks, where we going? <laughs> Shanks, you know it? Yes. I'm, your idol. I'm your idol, your highest title. I'm not a Puerto Rican, but I'm speaking so that you know. Hey. There you go. He hey, but see, that's what, hey, I may not know, but I know somebody that know. That's all you that matters. Me? You got it. I may not know, but I know somebody that know. You got a hotline. You got a hotline. You from Inglewood. You keep a hotline. Hey, man, let me run one by you. <laughs> let me run one by you. Go ahead. Me and everything around me is unstable like Chernobyl. As I blow on this motherfucking <laughs> Not <blunt>. freestyle. <laughs> Not freestyle. Who? Anybody in here? Ready to blow at any moment. Jumping like a pogo stick. Life never lived up to my expectations, so I accept the patience. I know some raps just. You Why know. you gonna hit me with that shit? You gonna go very lyrical on me. I'm hitting old basic hip hop, and you gonna go with this okay. dynamic hard shit on a nigga. Okay. I told you I'm from the old school. Okay. Hip hop. The hip it? A hip it to the hip, hip hop, and you don't stop. A rocket with the bang, bang, boogie set up, jump the boogie to the rhythm. Of the okay, boogie. all right, all right, uh, yo. Have you ever been over a friend's house to eat? And the food just wasn't no good. I said the, the macaroni, macaroni soggy, soggy, the peas are smushed, and, and the chicken tastes, tastes like wood. We know that one. Uh.
Here's another one. Go for it. Me and Mariah. Go back like babies and pacify us. ODB. That's it. Here we go. Dedication, hard work plus patience. Yes, Nipsey sir. Nipsey Hussle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I fuck with that. We're going to have to get more of that. That was finish the lyric. That's what we call that, right? Hey, look, we could be like, with so much drama in the ING, it's kind of hard being D S M O K E, but I somehow, some way, keep coming back with funky ass hits like every single day. So, May, I mm -hmm. kick a little something for, for the, the G's uh -huh. and uh -huh. bust a little something as I breeze mm -hmm. through. Two in the morning and the party still jumping because my mama ain't on. We got in the living room getting, getting it, it on, on and they ain't leaving till six, six, in, the the six in the morning. So, what you wanna do? I got a pocket full of rubbers and, and my, my homeboys, homeboys do, do too. too. So turn off the lights and close the door. But, but, but for what? We, we don't, don't let them, them hoes. So we can smoke an ounce of that. G's up. Hold, hold down, down while you motherfuckers bounce, bounce to that. this. And we'll be rolling down the street, smoking in the knee knees, y'all. I was six years old when I came no, out. No, you wasn't. 92. Now, why are you going to make me seem older than I really am? <laughs> I bet but you was 18 was years old when I got... I was 25 for the last two years. <laughs>
at the same time, people need to know the great things that you're doing at such a young stage in your career. Absolutely. Like the things you're doing usually don't happen until someone's 10, 15 years into this industry and you're doing it on the rip. Right. Um, well, as of now, uh, myself, David Gross, who did plenty of the uh, investments with Nip, and uh, G. Perico, we're buying Broadway Boxing Gym. Um, that's where I boxed, you feel me? Mm -hmm. um, I had my first match there in 2014. You know what I'm saying? I'm 3-0, and oh, you know, still handing out whoopings when they, hey, Uncle Snoop, while we here, we got to bring it up. I was trying to run We got to bring it up. Somebody give me a backboard. This may take more than five you minutes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody give me hey, a well, backboard. Well, let's come back to it. So we, we buying Broadway Boxing Gym so we can have a space for people to come and get that off their chest, you know, express their masculinity, express their femininity if it's a young lady that wants to feel powerful and, and learn about themselves, develop themselves, grow physically, mentally. And learn how to defend right. themselves. Learn how to defend themselves. Learn how to fucking fight. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, Which leads us to fighting. There's been a lot of celebrity fights. There's been a lot of rappers fighting. There's been a lot of entertainers fighting. I seen Blueface beat the dog shit out of somebody the other night. Did he win? He Congrats won. To he, he, no, he won his fight. Then the nigga came in the ring and some uh, enthusiastic fan or some shit. Then Blueface put wingtips on that nigga and he just disappeared out the ring. Oh. But I'm just watching all of these celebrities get in the ring. Some of them are skillful. And some of me to sit their ass down. Sit there, but I know that you are a bona fide boxer. And once upon a time, me and you had a conversation about, you know, mm -hmm. you wanting to show what it do. So do you still have that aspiration to get in the boxing ring? And is there someone that, you know, is nice on the menu? So <laughs> <laughs> on the menu for the meal. No, um, one, it got to be the right opponent, mm -hmm. right? Because... Um, I respect the sport, and I don't want to. I don't want to pick somebody that's like I'm bullying somebody. I would actually fight somebody who could fight. You know what I'm saying? Just so it's a respectable, a respectable boxing event. Mm -hmm. Like, cause if you got somebody that's looking wild, when you got two fools in there, you can't tell who's. You know, or right. you in there with a fool, you can't tell who's. But when it's somebody that actually got a, at least a little bit of experience fighting boxing. You know, then then it could be an event that people respect, you know, because right now they're seeing a lot of people do it. And I wouldn't be doing it because it's trendy, but people wouldn't know the difference if, if the fight I take look crazy. You feel me? So what's your weight class? Uh, I weigh, I walk around at 165, so I'll probably fight around 160, high 150s. OK, because me, I'm about 170. So that means me and you the same weight class. So what if you fighting a fighter that's tall like me, has got a lot of reach? And as fast as a motherfucker with a mean left, a cold right, a, a solid uppercut, nice jab. I'm describing myself. You got this is what you do. This is what you do. And I, I, I seen I seen I seen your boxing footage, you embellishing it just a little bit. But you know, you got them street hands and the reach is there, so it's dangerous and you gotta respect the reach. That being said, that being said, against a taller fighter, what you do is you gotta make them throw first. You gotta make them miss. So it's a counter, huh? It's a counter play. Yeah, you want to counter, and you want You gotta get inside. So if you, if you, for example, if I, um, if I, if I miss first, mm -hmm. they're tagging me, boom, boom, because they got the reach. They can step back, right? Whereas if I'm fainting them, throwing off their rhythm, and then they shooting a jab, thinking I'm coming in, mm -hmm. then finally they gonna, you know, then they gonna wait a little more. They are gonna be more hesitant because they gonna be like, all right, he fainted a lot. So, so he maybe, may not throw it, so I don't just exactly. want to walk into that hit. Exactly. So then they kind of sit back. You got to bait them. You bait them with the feints. Then when they sit back more, you faint, you come in low. Mm. Up under it. Boom, boom. And then you come in and get some, get some work. But once you're in there on them, don't step out. Get up. Boom, boom. Change angles. Shift to the side. Like, you seen that video with Mike. He jumped to the side. And he get them ribs. They, 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 exactly. I need them ribs. They did a the voiceover like, wham, wham. I need, yeah, I need you know them know ribs. To he used to love taking that two step to the side and then getting down low. Because the down low going to set the. And he throw the outside yes, and then up. Boom, yes. Boom. The same hand. Yep. The double. The bop, bop. Yep. That's cold. Boom, bam. Straight down. Mm. You know, so. But, you, yeah, I mean, whoever you fight, respect your opponent. If it's a bum off the street, respect your opponent. Because... Everybody could throw their hands. Oh, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? You, if you get caught by a wild punch, you know what I'm saying? That's the last thing you want. Say, so. man, I'm going to tell you the truth. I was selling dope in the 80s, right? It was like, I think it was like 87. And uh, one of the homies was talking shit to this bass head. You know what I'm saying? So 
Bay said, you know, we all fuck with him. He cool. His name Red. We ain't really tripping. He one of the homies and whatnot. But he an older dude. Mm -hmm. So the homie get into it with him and start disrespecting Red. So he, he, he slapped Red. Bop. And Red take off on the homie and, and whoop the homie. And niggas was like, damn, Cud got whooped on by a bass head. Niggas was like, Red was a real nigga before he was a bass head. Period. You understand me? So Period. don't let that cocaine, don't let that rock fool you, that narcotic fool you. That nigga still got them hands, man. Dang. You gotta respect your opponent. Period. That's why I don't fight nobody. I fought the law. And I won. And won. You better know it. <laughs>